Greetings everyone. This is Anand Joshi from the core team of Connecting Team Foundation and Change Makers 20 Summit 2023. So we are all here in the day six where we are all uh, came here for the session, a panel discussion on the topic, empowering LGBTQIA plus career progression journeys with confidence and authenticity. Well, we have, uh, so we, we have Dr. Simi Mishra, Director of Inclusion Vertical and Program Advocacy Connected New Foundation. We have Vikram Kumar as one of the panelists, uh, who is the Head of Partnership and Communication in NIIT Foundation. We have Renu Dhamival from Connected Dream Foundation, who is working as a mentor for the community. We have Tashi Singh, who is uh, working in Godrej Properties. Gautam Saxena, who is working as an associate in Amazon. We have Rohan, who is the founder of Artists Abode. We have Swara Thapa, who is the founder of Suratma Foundation and India's first trans DJ artist. We have Neha, who is a specialist uh, from Amazon. Now, before we start with the panel discussion, I would first like to introduce all the panelists and the, and the moderator. So I, Anand Joshi, working as a program manager in Connecting Dream Foundation, will be more will be moderating today's panel discussion and we have our first panelist dr Sami mishra who is working as the director of inclusion vertical in connecting Dream foundation uh, she is working as a societal change catalyst advancing diversity equity and inclusion which is dei goals and create more equitable outcomes across the talent life cycle her focus areas are inclusion and diversity talent grooming environment of belonging, growth and development, and strategic partnership. She is a member of working committee groups of SDG 16 plus and gender equality and stability for G20. She is supporting SDG 16 plus peace, justice, and inclusion working group under C20 under the ages of G20. She is also working with ERGs and KPMGs, Microsoft, Wipro, Lois, and Cisco. Now, uh, I would like to introduce our another panel, uh, Mr. Vikram Kumar, who is the head of partnership and communication in the NIAT Foundation. Uh, now uh, we have the uh, we have Renu Dhamival, who who is working as a mentor for LGBTQIA plus community in partnership with Connecting Dream Foundation. She has mentored more than 100 uh, trans people uh, across Delhi, Bangalore. We have uh, Govind Gautam Saxena with us, who is working as an associate in Amazon. And also uh, we have uh, Neha, who is also working in Amazon as an SLP specialist. We have Rohan and Swara, who, who is uh, the part of Connecting Foundation. And now Rohan is the foundation of Artist Abode and a budding artist. Uh, he is, uh, he has uh, made some stalls over Microsoft and other corporate sector, uh, corporate uh, events. We have Swara Thapa, who is the first trans DJ in India and also the founder of Suratma Foundation. I welcome you all to the summit. And, and now I hand over the mic to Ms. Dr. Semi Mishra to take over the stage and start the panel. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Anand, for this kind introduction. And uh, let me kind of quickly talk about and start up with the very important problem that uh, we are facing. The LGBTQ uh, individuals may face challenges in their career growth due to various factors. And these include, and are really well recognized also, societal attitudes, biases, and systemic stereotypes. And some of the reasons why the GPTQ community actually requires a lot of help in career progression is that most of them, at least in India, leave their homes quite early. And therefore, their education is getting disrupted. Having kind of having a disrupted uh, kind of, you know, like uh, education, that has a large number of, you know, diverse impacts, which means that, you know, access to uh, a roof, access to food, food security, careers. That means because your education is disrupted, so career also become disrupted. And in the last is, you know, like uh, access to health. 
So in addition to grappling with discrimination and bias, LGBTQ, BTQ individuals encounter discrimination both which is overt and subtle in the workplace, in the society, everywhere that they go. This can also affect, you know, hiring decisions, promotions, kind of opportunities that organizations provide. Support at this point is very, very crucial for navigating these challenges and ensuring that the individuals are not held back just because of their gender identity. Now, lack of representation, that means that many industries and industrial positions uh, still lack you know, diverse LGBTQ representation. The lack of role models makes it even more difficult for the LGBTQ individuals to envision their own career advancement. But when I look at this particular forum, I see that you know there are plenty of role models that have emerged in various uh, areas. And I can see that you know they have emerged not only through their struggle, but today their other LGBTQ individuals have started to kind of you know look at them as their role models. We also have mentors and Renu is representing this. So mentorship and guidance from those who have overcome similar situations or maybe not from the community, but you know, like still have some mentorship to offer is often highly beneficial. Also the fear of being out. I mean, like every individual from the community struggles with this. Some LGBTQ communities may, individuals may fear coming out in the open about their identity in the workplace due to concerns about prejudice, negative reactions, and not only from their colleagues, but also from the superiors. So this makes it very complex. First of all, fear of being out in the family, in the society, and therefore the fear can lead to hiding parts of themselves and therefore also potentially hinder their own professional growth. Um, another issue that they grapple with is microaggressions. I mean, aggressions that are very, very small. It could be a glance, a way that somebody has looked at you. It could be a very small comment. It could be stereotypes that uh, are kind of, you know, prejudicing other people and making the environment that they work in or live in very, very unwelcoming. And these experiences can impact confidence, productivity, overall well-being, making it very difficult to mainstream. And therefore, it is important that in the workplace, support networks are in place. And there are, you know, like maybe buddies or uh, an HR person who is kind of, you know, assigned to them. And that happens. In addition to that, LGBTQ community may be having issues in related to coming out. There may be family dynamics, there may be community involvement, and supporting and managing this along with their careers and studies becomes quite difficult. There are also problems that happen in uh, certain countries, including India, where it has been kind of you know, uh, liberal, but not really fully recognized. So legal protections for LGBTQ community may not be as comprehensive as we would like it to be. And therefore, that will to, again, discrimination in multiple, multiple different ways. For example, benefits for partners may be something that, you know, like once everybody kind of uh, gets a job, they do not kind of, you know, get those kind of benefits. There could be other legal challenges. Uh, they could be you know, like challenges that impact their growth etc. So uh, I think I have talked about that. I think one very important uh, aspect which I should have mentioned but I forgot to mention earlier is the mental health and well-being. The stress of just kind of dealing with discrimination, concealment of one's identity largely impact in mental health. So support, resources, as well as, you know, like uh, some kind of uh, a closed community where people can be free to kind of talk is absolutely necessary. So these safe spaces are necessary for sustained career growth. So creating inclusive workplaces is something that I have been working with. And also I hope that, you know, like others who are listening in today's session would kind of you know, take this away as a 
uh, some things that you know that uh, the LGBTQ community uh, struggles with on a daily basis. So Anand, I hope I did kind of you know, set the stage uh, for the next speaker to answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sami Mishra, for uh, like uh, giving a brief of the session we are we, we are going to talk about. Uh, and it, it is very true, like we all are coming together with different backgrounds and different domain areas and uh, like uh, working towards empowering uh, the community people for uh, for their career readiness. So I just want to know from uh, the uh, Vikram Kumar that uh, what uh, role did the NIET Foundation or the organization uh, like you are playing in in terms of like empowering LGBTQIA plus community? Because I have worked as a program manager and I have seen that uh, the like NIT Foundation is like working like working empowering community people. So I just want to know from your end like what are the struggles that you face and uh, how are you like uh, like how you are. Uh, engaging with it like and how you are doing it over to you yeah uh, thank you so much anand for the question and thank you so, so much simi for setting the context and uh, uh, in explaining it so well so <clears throat> uh, in the uh, IT foundation uh, we all our training programs we try to make it inclusive by including all kind of beneficiaries that we are uh, training and um, impacting their life by not only training them but providing by providing livelihood opportunities as well uh, whether it is uh, our skill program or uh, career program both so uh, in career program basically what we do we uh, train a student uh, including the students from LGBT uh, QI community and uh, make them job ready by uh, making them uh, basically preparing them for interviews, how to face interviews, how to deal with the uh, people in corporates and all sort of things. And we make them ready for jobs basically. While we are doing this, and uh, at across India, actually, we are doing this, but the the kind of challenges that we are facing is obviously uh, after getting them placed in corporates or uh, in any organization. Uh, so basically, these organizations are uh, meaning they they hire these candidates from LGBTIQ community. But sometimes what we saw and what we experienced that they are not fully ready for uh, accepting uh, people from LGBTQI right? in, in many sense, right? Uh, making people or employee of that particular organization ready and understand that they should accept and to make these people on the uh, stand on a similar platform, right? So these kind of challenges are there, and uh, having said that, uh, uh, we will continue with our uh, initiative, and uh, we we are finding that what what are the best methods to overcome these kind of challenges? Maybe uh, a training session on how to deal with people from LGBTI community, how to make them inclusive, how to make them part of that of particular organization, if we design and develop a training for employees of that particular organization, that is certainly going to help, you know. And as far as uh, I am taking it from both the side, uh, I'm also thinking that what, what is required at the at, at LGBTQ community side, uh, that one thing for sure that uh, uh, which they should have never give up kind of attitude, you know, whatever situation, whatever circumstances are there, uh, we need to face that challenge. And uh, I'd like to uh, also say that uh, they should make their short-term and long-term goal in, goals in their life, 
that is very important that where they want to achieve what they want to do that is very much required so those goals are very important uh, I, I can i am recalling one small story here so everybody is aware of uh, everest right mount everest and uh, the the first person to conquer mount everest was uh, uh, that uh, Ser, uh, Serpa, one Serpa was there and Edmund Hillary was there. Serpa Tenjing and Edmund Hillary, right. So uh, it was one failed attempt and uh, uh, Edmund Hillary was at the base camp and uh, he was uh, looking at the mountain, Mount Everest basically and uh, thinking that I will conquer this uh, Mount Everest one day for sure. So uh, uh, he one one fine morning he just came out from the tent and screamed at looking at the mountain that uh, I will conquer you one day because as a mountain you cannot grow but as a human being I can. So uh, I, I am of that opinion that any human being uh, and I am considering LGBTQI community is part of human being. And they can also grow, they can also learn, they can also make themselves, uh, 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 keep themselves to the same platform where we are. So that's what I think. And uh, yeah, I, I will take a pause here and over to you, Anand. Thank you, sir, for sharing uh, your the story and your insight on, on the, but on, on like saying that about there is some noise yeah thank you uh, so thank you for sharing our insight over empowering the community people and you also shared that there is there were some challenges so uh, we have swara thapa here who uh, once uh, was a transformation fellow so she is now uh, conducting workshop training sessions and she is very much engaged with the community she knows the struggle the daily life struggle and uh, she is uh, working towards like how she can empower the community people and also, she also knows that there is there is, there is a role of ally, uh, which which plays a vital role basically to empower the community people. So, Swara, uh, I just want to know from your end that uh, what are the struggles that you feel feel well like encouraging the tra trans people, whether it is the LGBTQI plus community people, to like uh, to get them ready for the career uh, with the way they want to go. And also, I just want to know that uh, in what ways uh, the allies plays a role in empowering LGBTQI plus individuals in their career journey and how allow allies are also helping to create safe and supporting spaces for LGBTQI uh, colleagues uh, to thrive authentically. Over to you. OK, uh, thank you so much, Anandji. OK, uh, thank you so much, uh, and CDF team, as you said, once I was fellow transformation fellow, and now I am running the program from Suratma Foundation. Program. So I feel very um, blessed, lucky uh, to be one who was once fellow, and now I am running um, because I understand the importance of the courses uh, and uh, so that so I can like. I am connected with uh, this transfer making uh, fellowship career uh, probation. So, uh, like my question was for the ally, how uh, how important uh, almost uh, I was just listening with Thoda Miri connectivity, maybe big Pratoi. So once uh, listening to Vikram sir was telling something about like uh, Mount Everest climbing things. So many jala to mention but jitna many suni. I would like to add on that uh, since he said uh, first man was uh, like uh, admin uh, look at uh, engine uh, and uh, admin uh, uh, that two person climb uh, Mount Everest. 
this uh, like uh, what was the uh, what was the point a uh, point of mine was uh, he from the uh, like uh, uh, that first person also get uh, from uh, like help from that uh, second one na? so that it uh, becomes so easier uh, that time to climb so allies play like uh, exactly the same role uh, for us actually like they do uh, like they do support in everything like pehle hame pata bhi nahi thi ki kahan pe course karna hota hai kya karna hota hai kon aisa course provide karta since community jo leader hote hai wo thoda isme active hue ramkali was mind advisor at that time so the how at that time so abhi that role is i am playing and ally ally फ्लिपकार्ट में जॉब मिली थी एज एन ऑफ रोल मुझे वहां पे एज एन ऑफ रोल टी एल की जॉब मिली थी तो अगर शायद अगर मुझे तब कंप्यूटर चलाने नहीं आती होगी या मेरी इंग्लिश इतनी ज्यादा अच्छी नहीं होगी या मेरी पर्सनैलिटी में ज्यादा खराब होती तो शायद मुझे वो रोल ऑफर नहीं होती तो एक अलाई अलाई जुड़ी हमारे साथ या हमारे जो करियर प्रोग्रेशन फेलोशिप प्रोग्राम थी उसमें अलाई जुड़ी तो वो एक उनकी वजह से मैं सीख पाई और उनकी वजह से थोड़ा मैं आगे बढ़ पाई and um it's uh, like it's not about the con- uh, being consideration in the uh, main stream or like main faculty uh, whether like we do believe and it's not about the belief also we all are equal abhi hame as in thoda point mein kaat rahe ho sir ki consideration hame inko consideration karna chahiye ye nahi hum to human being hi hai we are uh, human of course so hame हमें भी खुद को कम्युनिटी के मेंबर थोड़ा ऐसे भी हो जाते हैं थोड़ा कहीं अब मुझे भी इन अराउंड सात साल से मैं काम कर रही हूँ थोड़ा कहीं ना कहीं ऐसे फील करते कम्युनिटी मेंबर कि नहीं यार हमारे लिए ये चीज नहीं बनी है हमारे लिए परंपरा में इससे ज्यादा तो हमें घर बैठे बैठे मिल रहा आराम की जॉब हमें आठ घंटा काम क्यों करना बारह घंटा काम क्यों करना तो लाइक हमारी कम्युनिटी के अंदर भी सुधार आनी चाहिए लाइक Uh, हम चाहते समाज की मेन स्ट्रीम में जीना इक्वल रिस्पेक्ट हैविंग इक्वल रिस्पेक्ट लाइक सभी चीज में हम भागीदारी चाहते हैं तो ऑफ कोर्स हमें भी आगे बढ़ना चाहिए और हमें भी उस चीज का अपॉर्चुनिटी ग्रैब करना चाहिए और हमें भी इक्वली फाइट करना चाहिए क्योंकि जहाँ जिस समाज में मैं रहती हूँ तो यहाँ पे ऐसा शायद मेरी वजह से भी हो सकती है कि यहाँ पे कोई भेदभाव नहीं है मैं जाती हूँ ऑफिस जाती हूँ ऑफिस से आती हूँ इक्वली मेरे फ्लोर में मेरे नीचे फैमिली रहती है मेरे ऊपर बैचलर रहते हैं जितना मेरे बैचलर के साथ ट्यूनिंग है उतना मेरे नीचे फैमिली के साथ भी उतनी ही ट्यूनिंग है तो एक आप पे भी डिपेंड पड़ती है कि हाउ यू लाइक ये आप अपने आप को कैसे आगे दिखाना चाहते हैं तो हमें भी हमारी कम्युनिटी को भी आगे बढ़ना चाहिए अब not only in the begging thing from the uh, ye uh, toli badai and all ha huh? it, it, it is a part of culture it's okay culture batne chahiye but it it's not ki income nahi banani chahiye in cheezon ke liye hame bhi apne haq ke liye ladne chahiye apni job apni cheezon ke liye hame equally uh, us cheezon ke liye hame bhi uh, it seek ke hame bhi pura uh, full jaise uh, मैंने ये भी देखी है मेरे फ्रेंड्स एक फ्रेंड है प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द आईएएस तो वो कितना तैयारी करते हैं ना तो मैंने देखी है ये चीज है गवर्नमेंट जॉब के लिए बहुत लोग ट्राई करते हैं हमारे लोग ट्राई ही नहीं करते मैंने बहुत ये चीज भी पाया कि हमारे कम्युनिटी के लोग कभी ट्राई नहीं करते बहुत कम लोग है जो गवर्नमेंट में काम कर रहे हैं तो हम सोचते एक पल के लिए हम बोलते भी है कि नहीं हमें रिजर्वेशन लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं हमें भी उस लाइक तो बनना चाहिए अगर ये गवर्नमेंट अलाउड परसेंटेज तो हम तो 
हम उस चीज के लिए भी स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए और हमें आगे बढ़ाने के लिए रोल है कि तो मेन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल यही होता है कि दे कनेक्टेड लाइक हमारे गुड के लिए कनेक्टेड होते तो फिर हमें भी अच्छा मौका मिल जाता है वेरी या शॉर्ट आई 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 एग्री टू यू सोरा and thank you for sharing the real life stories and incidences that uh, f- from your past experiences and also you also shared that uh, how you are empowering the community people and how uh, like uh, how they also want to go in their career fields but i i, I just want to again get back to you uh, dr sami mishra and want to ask you like uh, like when these people are, are now stepping out from the uh, so i just want to ask you ma'am that uh, like when the community people are stepping out from their comfort zone so basically uh, in a professional development like it often involve that they have to step out from their comfort comfort zone so i just want to know from your and like what advice do you have for lgbtqia plus community uh, individuals who may be hesitant to pursue opportunities outside their immediate expertise due to maybe there is a fear of bias or discrimination because as shwara has also mentioned and uh, uh, vikram sir also mentioned that there are some challenges and people don't want to uh, like pursue for that like they have some fear um, it, it could be a fear of biasness it could be fear of discrimination i just want to know what your advice on that sure sure anand that was a very nice question so i'll kind of try to answer it slightly differently so i am going back to my childhood and uh, my father was in the defense so every two years every three years we had to kind of change our school and that means like you know you can understand that uh, from a child's perspective that changing a school changing your friend coming into a new environment gives a new challenge so how i approached it i think you know there is uh, something that like a wisdom that i want to share so any new school i would go to uh they would be always you know the very first day is you know like 35 35 children and the teacher will call you in the front and will say that you know like okay this is simi she is going to be just kind of you know her father has been transferred now she's joining our school and uh, Role number would be assigned to you, and a seat would be assigned to you. So the first and the first most thing is to kind of you know like uh, get your own identity, saying that uh, I am belonging to the LGBTQ community. There is no need to kind of hide it, right? No need to hide because when they hired you, they hired you for their diversity and to kind of bring about a diverse culture in their organization. so first of all embrace that yourself and feel comfortable for it by your own self secondly when you kind of you know like start to sit so uh, when i look into my childhood in the school i would have somebody sitting in front of me somebody sitting beside me somebody kind of you know like uh, looking here and there so now you need to be very observant observe uh, that you know like who is the person who is always kind of you know talking a lot who is the person who is uh, you know like uh, sharing maybe some kind of a connect with you maybe they have the same hobbies maybe they like to listen to music and they are always in the music um uh, maybe somebody who doesn't mind sitting right next to you maybe somebody who looking you in the eye and talking so try and kind of you know like say that i am for or i am so and so i want to introduce myself and go out for a cup of coffee with them har ek organization mein kuch chai peene ka ya koi cafeteria hota hai let's try to kind of you know do that and once you kind of start this bonding with people at a micro level you will realize that you know you will make more and more friends and when you make more and more friends you would actually kind of you know get integrated into the workplace in addition to that one advice that i would give is that you know all the people who are going into any organization should also think that you know like you are a representative of the community which is outside so 
go to your hr ask them that you know what kind of help do they need maybe they need to understand the community better maybe they need to sensitize you know like uh, other groups of our people in the uh, office so offer help apna help off kar rahe once you uh, offer this help i think you know things and avenues will keep on opening but also remember that har ek organization may whenever you are hired you are hired for a particular role or for a particular position so the first and the first most thing is that to show that you are no lesser than anybody else who is performing the role so you must understand your role your work and try to excel at that pressure hai because coming from a different community you may have the pressure to perform more than the others but i'm sure that each one of us can take that challenge and work it out so that would be my advice to all the people who are going into various organizations as representatives of the community anand i hope i answered the question satisfactorily and thank you so much for your advice and i hope that uh, we uh, we uh, we all agree with with this action step that you have mentioned in regard with inclusion inclusivity and in continuation with that i also uh, we have a uh, mentor uh, renu dhamewal with us who mentored 100 plus trans people so uh, renu uh, my question is regard in regard with the mentorship and role models so um, i believe that mentorship and role models can significantly impact career growth of any individual so as a, like you 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 have been worked as a mentor and i just want to know that as a, like as a role model like uh, who are the role model for the community people who really help them to na- navigate their career as an individual as a lgbtqi plus individual and how uh, the role of mentorship the role of role models in their life are supporting and uh, like influencing their journey in regarding to the question i would like to that uh, mentorship is very essential it encompasses every ethnicity every religion every background whether the person is related to any religion uh hindu or christian jew muslim or uh, whatever the background is every individual needs mentorship in their life and whether the person belongs to lgbt community they need more mentorship and guidance for their uh, you know career journey or whatever they want to uh, pursue in their professional uh, pursuit for example if they want to have a job or if they want to you know develop their own business let them encourage so that they can personally develop them not only so it helps in developing a mindset it helps a uh, mentorship helps them to get to know themselves for example uh, in a business situation uh, i have mentored more than 100 individuals over them uh, out of all the 100 individuals we have selected uh, 10 individuals it was a very tough is lgbtq community as the community that they that they have a fear of identity they fear acknowledgement also that if they you know if they are being called out in a community in a public they fear about them mainstream community but it is very important to get to know them first for the mainstream community mentorship helps in uh, mentorship takes in this approach to help them to you know to develop their transition from a person who fear of uh, uh, who is having a fear of identity and then they feel confident about them, uh, confident them uh, about them so first uh, from the mainstream community uh, three steps can be very helpful for them first uh, set up a meeting with them 
first meeting it is very important uh, to you know to connect to the individual belonging to the lgbt community uh, if they are not coming out try to uh, you know set an informal meeting over a cup of coffee over a cold drink over a um, just a minuscule meeting whatever we call in our informal try to know their story their background in a very very relatable manner just you are talking to your own brother and sister you have to talk to uh, them in a very light in a very polite way just uh, as it the point was mentioned of uh, micro aggression yes it is very true and in real life whenever you talk to a uh, trans individual you will feel that their tone their language is going another round they are showing aggressiveness sometimes you feel that in a conversation so it is very important get to know them uh, find a relatable a common topic to talk to them then the third point is nurture the relationship and this is where you get on board with this community uh, after knowing them you find that yes they are no different than us they are the same people it just they are divided by the society uh, in which we live and uh, as you know uh, uh, mentorship Uh, for example uh, uh, in in our world 76% of individuals needs mentorship 76% according to a harvard business study but in reality only 37% gets it so it it mentioned that yeah mentorship is very important and it is uh, it paves the way to establish a positive positivity and inclusive environment around us so uh, first of all in these mentorship stakeholders are very important and those stakeholders are the community leaders itself uh, for example if a person is belonging to a trans community then the trans leader of that community would be a main stakeholder who can provide you a landscape who can provide you a foundation to talk to them and to reach out to them so uh, you know collaborating with all the stakeholders whether they are trans uh, community leaders whether the ngo partners whether the knowledge partners whoever you are collaborating with uh, for their career transformation uh, career transformation and uh, the professional uh, organizations they can help in you know building confidence they can help in providing growth professional growth and the thank you uh, thank you i hope i answered your question truly yeah thank you for sharing uh, this renu and uh, i truly believe that uh, like mentorship and uh, like presence of a role model really play a vital role in any any individuals uh, uh, and now i would like to first present a video a short clip after that we will talk about the leadership that uh, renu have just initiated it leadership and visibility <laughs> we all have just seen the transformation career progression fellowships uh, short clip 
now i would also like to share a video clip of uh, rohan rohan is a budding artist and founder of artist support and he has done a lot of workshops and uh, he is uh, like uh, continuing doing it in his studio as well so now i would like to share a short clip thereafter we will uh, continue with a discussion with tashi rohan tashi and rohan yeah now uh, as well said by the panel that uh, leadership and visibility is the uh, second thing that which that plays a vital role over here so the visibility of lgbtqia plus professionals in leadership positions can inspire others and challenge stereotypes and that uh, how, like we then how we can encourage more individuals more lgbtqia individuals to aspire to leadership roles while remaining true to their identities identities so we have rohan and we have tashi here who will be telling more about like they are they are, uh, they are in a leadership position they are working as associate they are leading their own program their own organizations or working in an organization so i just want to know from their end so i first welcome tashi to come over the stage and ex uh, and share um, ex uh, experience their experience over here over to you tashi so okay being as a leadership like you know i mean like i know how it, it is difficult to you know i mean like being as a trans i know how it is very difficult like you know to live in a society and uh, to you know i mean like be a leadership and a part of like you know some organization because like it's very difficult to stay in the society and to you know work uh, work somewhere and uh, uh, you know i mean like uh, so uh, i would just say that like you know I, if i'll start from my journey so i have done so many things like you know for my leadership thing and i know how it is difficult to you know live in the society and to treat people because if you are going to treat them well so you accept the same thing from the another person but some will talk so rudely and some will give you respect also but like in my journey uh, in my journey a uh, journey sorry uh, the same happened like just the same thing happened with me also so uh, i i just passed out my you know uh, school and then i i was just you know i mean like my parents get to know about me and i was not staying with them and then i started founding something like you know so that i can earn something so i worked with one ngo and then from there i moved to this uh, akash institute as an educational counselor so uh, yeah and from there i like you know i started my journey and i i did uh, like you know i started my transition also so uh, before like you know like you know when you are transition people will treat you like you know you are nobody for them and uh, it is like uh, you know what like uh, if if they somebody will treat you like you know okay so you don't exist in our life or in our society it makes you so you know like bad or like you know it's like make you so difficult to stay in the society because like you are working somewhere and uh, you know i mean like your colleagues and the workers are not good with you they will like treat you nobody so it is like very difficult so there was a hr in akash institute so they were like she was she just gave me one you know opportunity because she was just so you know i mean like going through this thing ki that you know nobody's like you know i mean like taking me seriously and all kind of so uh, she just gave me one uh, opportunity in ministry of culture as a tender maker so i was representing that uh, 75th of independence post in the ministry of culture and then i moved to as a tender maker and uh, as a tender maker it was very nice you know work there because like everyone uh, in actually not in corporate sector but government sector they give us respect like you know they truly give us respect but some people don't give but otherwise like other people do uh, you know give us respect also so and after that i moved to this fellowship program the the, the you know transformation fellowship the first batch and i was uh, i mean like i was the best one like you no know, i would like i would not i would not say that you know i am the only best one there i was like i was the only best best one there but yeah there were so many people who was best but yeah i you know like before that like you know i was just passed on my you know like from my humanity sector and then uh, i was not into commerce line so i i just started like you know uh, liking commerce in this fellowship 
and then uh, i get to know like you know how you can you know i mean like tell them like you know tell this uh, you know your community like you know uh, education is so so important for you because like you know if you study you can you know grab anything so as the mam knows like you know i was a part of this uh, change maker session also i had done my uh, you know computer course english course everything from there and then uh, from the cdf only and uh, then from that uh, you know day i started in you know working with you know so many people and i i actually you know praise them and i actually you know uh, i mean like what we call them i actually appreciate them also and try to force them to you know study something or like do some skilling course so that they can you know do something better than you know begging or like you know something i mean like uh, they should not do that i know they do they don't comfortable in this things but still it's like uh, you know I, so i always appreciate them and you know i ask them to you know do something and then they can do something you know better than uh, better in their life so yeah i mean like being uh, from that day i i actually you know started working for you know trans community and uh, uh, yeah i asked them to do something for their la- better life you know begging is not everything and being as a you know leader uh, in this community it is so important to you know learn first and then you teach somebody because like i have teach so many people uh, english uh, english courses and like computer courses also i, I teach them so many things and from there i mean like i started my leader ship thing and uh, now i am actually working with godrej like it's a real estate company and here everyone you know loves me a lot because of my you know like uh, uh, this uh, uh, why like what we like what we say that like you know i am um, like the state forward thing and i am so positive like you know i'm so proud of myself being as a trans also so yeah they love me a lot uh, because of this reason um anything else i know i am a little fast but like oh, okay it's fine <laughs> no no you are the true uh, inspiration like that uh, you can uh, that anyone can do anything like uh, nothing is uh, impossible thank you so much yeah exactly like, you know yeah yeah i'm so sorry like you know yeah this is the only thing like you know if uh, you know if somebody can do like you know this things like you know if anybody either it's straight or like you know uh, like society used to call them normal and uh, so if they can do why we can't do that like you know if if they can be treated you know nicely why we can't you know treat them like me like you know we we should also you know take some you know we should also have that respect in our society that you know now trans are working actually you know if i'll share you one one of my experience like you know i was uh, traveling in a metro and there was a person like you know who actually poked me like you know being a trans you can't sit in you know this ladies coach and i was like okay but like is it written everywhere like it is written anywhere that you know being as a trans you can't sit in a, a you know female coach in metro so she thought you know like you know i i am not that much qualified you know i i do bagging and you know i disrespect mm-hmm. people i do you know the culture thing also so when i started speaking in english and you know i was just replying her by like you know in a normal way so she thought okay like you know every trans like you know any you know trans are also qualified you know they can also speak english they can also talk nicely so you know i mean like that was the moment you know uh, that like you know the thing like you know happened in my life it it never happened you know before in my life and she was like she was actually you know she first she she actually you know i mean like yelled on me and after that she was praising like you know oh my god you are so qualified you know you know english and all so i was like yeah if you guys can you know if you guys can you know speak in english why would i can't like you know people like you know trans are also qualified now they can also speak in english they are working somewhere it's not like you know it, it's that is your, in your mentality like you know it's in, it, it is in your mind that you know trans can do only bagging you know they can do this things only they have this limited things you know they can be in this limit only no we are the human beings okay we stay in a society we live in a earth like you know there is a world like kind of you stay here also we also stay here and if everyone is you know i mean like uh, i mean like giving you respect why you can't give us to so that was a thing you know from that day i was like okay yeah i mean like and she was like okay nice so i'm like people was you know the you know giving me a smile okay she's a you know i mean like nice one and all kind of from that day i like clearly travel in a metro <laughs> <laughs> wonderful wonderful thank you for sharing this tashi and uh, i i see uh, you are you are every day you are breaking stereotypes and coming as a ambassador <laughs> in the community uh, now i would um, like uh, 
we are in in short of time so i would now i would like to give a thank uh, vote of thank so as we reflect on the enlightening panel discussion on empowering lgbtqia plus career progression journeys with confidence and authenticity at the change makers 20 summit we are filled with gratitude for our thoughtful contribution and engagement your insight uh, your personal stories expertise truly brought the topic to life shed a light on the unique challenges and triumphs experienced of lgbtqia plus individuals in their career path the emphasis on embracing authenticity and fostering a sense of confidence resonated deeply and your collective wisdom has undoubtedly left a lasting impact on all who attended thank you the panelists for coming here in this event through your words we learned how authenticity and self assuredness can serve a catalyst for meaningful career progression your willingness to share your journeys and the strategies that you have empowered you not only to inspire but also paves you a, a way more a way more to an inclusive professional landscape thank you for your time thank you for the insight you have shared over this panel today and your dedication to making a difference let's continue to carry this forward to the spirit of empowerment confidence and authenticity in our respective journeys and to ensure a brighter and more inclusive future for all for being here as a panelist over here thank you all